Hello everyone, myself Safil Hok Chaudhuri alongside Mehra Juddin. Today we are going to discuss about the famous invention of Thomas Edison Alpha, the Edison Alpha, which is the electric light bulb. It has been called the most important invention since man made fire. A light bulb helped to establish social order after unknown extended and work day well into the night and allowed us to navigate and travel safely in the dark. Without the light bulb, there would be no nightlife. The incandescent lamp is the oldest type of electric lamp is still in general use. Its practical form was invented simultaneously in 1879 by Sir Joseph Swan in England and by Thomas Edison in America. Over the past 130 years, it has undergone numerous changes in materials and manufacture to bring it to its present performance and convenience as a light source. Assalamu alaikum, myself Meera Chudinima. So I, today I am going to uh, discuss about uh, what is incandescent. So incandescence uh, is the emission of electromagnetic radiation from a hot body as a result of its high temperature. Mm -hmm. uh, term derives from the Latin verb incandescere to glow white. Incandescence uh, is a special case of thermal radiation it usually refers specifically to visible light while thermal radiation refers also to infrared or any other electromagnetic radiation. Incandescence is exploited in incandescent light bulbs. Next. So what is an incandescent bulb? Incandescent bulbs are manufactured in a wide range of sizes, light output and voltage rating from 1.5 volts to about 300 volts. They require no external regulating equipment, have low manufacturing cost and work equally well on either alternating current or direct current. Converting less than 5% of the energy they use into visible light, the remaining energy is lost as heat. The luminous efficiency of a typical incandescent bulb for 120 volt operation is 16 lampers per watt compared with 60 for a compact uh, fluorescent bulb or 150 watt for some white LED lamps um, incandescent is the emission of uh, electromagnetic radiation from a hot body as a result of high temperature the term derives from the Latin verb incandescence to glow white. Incandescence is a special case of thermal radiation. It usually refers um, speci uh, specifically to visible light, while thermal radiation refers also to infrared or any other electromagnetic radiation. Incandescence is exploited in incandescent light bulbs. Rough, uh, the incandescent bulb consists of a sealed glass bulb with a fluorescent inside. When electricity is passed through the filament, the filament gets hot depending on the temperature of the filament. Radiation is emitted from the filament. The filament's temperature is very high, generally over 2000 degrees Celsius or 300, 3600 degrees Fahrenheit in a standard 60, 75 or 100 watts bulb. The filament temperature is roughly 2550 degrees Celsius or roughly 4600 degrees Fahrenheit. At high temperature like this, the thermal radiation from the filament includes a significant amount of visible light. Incandescent lamp brings quicker light with low frequency, 50 or 60 hertz. The brightness of the lamp is proportional to the magnitude of voltage across the lamp. The brightness goes to maximum when voltage reach peak. The brightness dropped down to the minimum when voltage crosses zero volt. Evolution of light bulb. British chemist Humphrey Davy is credited with inventing the platinum filament and arc lamp in 1801 to 1809. In 1840, British scientist Warren de la Rue enclosed a coiled platinum filament in a vacuum tube and passed an electric current through it. 
Frederick de Molins of England was granted the first patent for an incandescent light in 1841. He used power charcoal heated between two platinum wires. In 1854, the German inventor Heinrich Gobel developed the first modern light bulb, a carbonized bamboo filament in a vacuum bottle to prevent oxidation. His lamps lasted up lasted for up to 400 hours. In 1873, an English physicist named Joseph Wilson Swan created a light bulb by enclosing carbonized paper filaments in an evacuated <laughs> glass bulb. The bulb lasted just about 13 and hour, 13 and a half an hours. In 1875, Henry Woodward and Matthew Evans, they built their lamps with different sizes and shapes of carbon rods held between electrodes in glass cylinders filled with nitrogen. Woodward and Evans attempted to commercialize their lamp but were unsuccessful. They eventually sold their patent to Edison in 1879. In 1879, Edison had built his first high-resistance incandescent electric light. It worked by passing electricity through a thin platinum filament in the glass vacuum bulb, which delayed the filament from melting. Still, the lamp only burned for a few short hours, the bulb lasting about 1,200 hours. Latimer created a light bulb with a more durable filament made of carbon. He sold the patent to the U.S. Electric Corporation in 1881 and a year later patent a process for efficiently manufacturing the carbon filament. College developed the ductile tungsten filament used in tube lights, fluorescent lamps and vacuum tubes. Ductile tungsten allowed the bulb to last longer and produce brighter light. Next. The history of incandescent. In 1879, Thomas Edison is the most celebrated of incandescent inventors. He was able to succeed in creating the first reliable light bulb. These bulbs made after 880 lasted a whooping 600 hours. Edison and his team research, researches in Edison's laboratory in Milano Park, New Jersey, tested more than 3,000 designs for bulbs between 1878 and 1880. Edison's version was able to outstrip the other because of combination of three factors, an effective incandescent material, a higher vacuum, and a high resistance that made power distribution from a centralized source economically viable. In November 1879, Edison filled a patient for an electric lamp with a carbon filament. The patient listed several materials that might be used for filament, including cotton, linen, and wood. Edison spent the next year finding the perfect filament for his new bulb, testing more than 600 plants to determine which materials would burn the longest. Several months after the 1879 pay, uh, patent was granted. Edison and his team discovered that a carbonized bamboo filament could burn for more than 1200 hours. Bamboo was used for filaments in Edison's bulb until it began to be replaced longer lasting materials in the 880 and early 900s. This is the Edison's first practical incandescent electric lamp in uh, uh, made by Thomas Alva Edison at Menlo Park, New Jersey, United States of America, 1879. Uh, the first is uh, existing pip, uh, glass bulb, carbon filament, uh, composed of carbonized cardboard, then uh, platinum ca uh, clamps, uh, platinum wire, uh, solid uh, glass lips, uh, twisted joints, uh, copper wire, then uh, solid glass steam, annealed uh, to uh, base of neck to uh, preserve vacuum, uh, wooden uh, holder, screw thermi uh, terminal, 
then uh, current suppliers. Uh, this is the first invention of uh, Thomas Salva Edison's bulb, next to light. Construction of incandescent bulb. Uh, incandescent light bulbs consist of an airtight glass enclosure with a filament of tungsten wire inside the bulb through which an electric current is passed. Contracts wi uh, contact wires and a base with two conductors provide electrical connections to the filaments. Incandescent light bulbs usually contain a stem of glass mount and coat to the bulbs. Based, uh, the <clears throat> base that allows the electrical contracts to run through the envelope without air or gas leaks. Uh, small wires embedded in the stem in turn, in, in turn support to the filament and its lead wires. The bulb is filled with an uh, inert gas such as argon which is 93% and nitrogen 7% to reduce um, evaporation of the filament and prevent its oxidation at a pressure of about uh, 70 kilopascal. Early lamps and some small modern lamps used only a vacuum to protect the filament from oxygen. An electric current heats the filament to typically 2000 to 3000 Kelvin. Well, um, below tungsten, um, below tungsten melting point of 3695 Kelvin or equivalent of 6191 Fahrenheit. Filament temperatures depends on the filament type, shape, size, and amount of current drawn. The heated filament emits the light that approximates a continuous spectrum. The useful part of the emitted energy is visible light, but most energy is given off as heat in the near uh, inferred wavelengths. Incandescent bulb parts. So, first part is outline of glass. It is made of thin glass and contains one type of inert gases as argon gas instead of air. The gas bulb prevents the air from reaching the filament to protect it from burning. The next part is inert gas uh, are used uh, generally to avoid uh, unwanted chemical reactions degrading a sample. <coughs> These undesirable chemical reactions are often oxidation and hydrolysis reactions with the oxygen and moisture in air. Purified argon and nitrogen gases are most commonly used as inert gases due to their high natural abundance and low relative cost. Tungsten filament used for making of an electrical bulb due to it has a very high melting point it has a very high resistivity uh, so it doesn't burn easily at room temperature support wire or tungsten wire uh, incandescent bulbs uh, consist of an airtight glass enclosure with a filament of tungsten wire inside the bulb through which an electric current is passed the um, and <coughs> contact wire uh, is uh, added with a support wire uh, and the next part is uh, glass amount uh, inside the bulb a glass amount serves as the skeleton of the bulb holding the other element of the bulb in place Cap. There are two main types of bulb cap. One is bayonet cap and second is Edison screw cap. The cap is attached to the bulb and acts as a bridge between the bulb and the power supply when connected to a light fitting insulation. It is a safety device to keep the heat of the light away from your wearing you might want it to buy a cheap light fixture just to rub the foil and insulation the other side of the insulation is the back part of the plastic fixture so maybe to prevent the incandescent from melting the plastic and the last part is electrical contact an electrical contact is an electrical circuit component found in electrical switches relays uh, connectors and circuit breakers 
each connect is a piece of electrically conductive material typically metal types of incandescent lamps there are three common types of incandescent lamps used in residential applications the first one is standard incandescent or pr shaped a19 lamps the second one is energy saving or halogen a19 lamps and the last one is reflector or parabolic reflector shortly known as par lamps sometimes called flood or spot lamps so how do incandescent bulb works let's know about it Incandescent bulbs are the original form of electric lighting and have been in use for over 100 years. While Thomas Edison is widely considered to be the inventor of the incandescent bulb, there are a number of other people who invented components and prototypes of the light bulb well before Edison did. One of those people was British physicist Joseph Wilson Swan, who actually received the first patent for a complete incandescent light bulb with a carbon filament in 1879. Swan's house was the first in the world to be lit by a light bulb. Edison had switched to a carbon filament in the oxygenless enclosure, and had produced a bulb that would last for 40 hours. Edison and Swan merged their companies and together they were the first to design a bulb that was commercially viable. The incandescent bulb has come a long way since then. So how do incandescent bulb works? Let's know about it. An incandescent bulb works on the principle of incandescence, a general term meaning light produced by heat. In an incandescent type of bulb, an electric current is passed through a thin metal filament, heating the filament until it glows and produces light. The incandescent bulb consists of a tungsten filament, made up of spiral turns, contact wires, support wires, glass support, holder cap, foot contact, and glass bulb, which is filled with inert gas. Incandescent bulbs typically use a tungsten filament because of tungsten's high melting point. A tungsten filament inside a light bulb can reach temperatures as high as 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit. This is why your bulb is very hot when you switch it on for too long. A glass enclosure prevents oxygen in the air from reaching the hot filament. Without this glass covering the filament would overheat and oxidize in a moment. This is an elegantly simple system and it works quite well at producing light. It's perfect for a wide range of applications, cheap and easy to manufacture, and is compatible with either AC or DC current. Unfortunately, it's not particularly energy efficient. Only around 10% of the electric power used by an incandescent light bulb produces light. The other 90% is emitted as heat. Because of this high heat output, you'll see incandescent bulbs used as heating lamps, grow bulbs and incubator lights where heat output is actually an asset. Incandescent bulbs are the... Efficiency and efficiency of incandescent light bulb. More than 95% of the power consumed by a typical incandescent light bulb is converted into heat rather than visible light. An incandescent light bulb consumes more power and gives off more heat than a fluorescent lamp. In buildings uh, where air conditioning is used, incandescent lamps heat output increases load on the air conditioning system, while heat from lights will reduce the need of running building heating system. In general, a heating system can provide the same amount of heat at a lower cost than incandescent lights. Halogen light produce a more uh, constant light output over time without much dimming. Visible light is measured in uh, lumens, a unit which is defined in part by differing sensitivity of the human eye to different uh, wavelengths of light. Not all wavelengths and uh, are equally effective at uh, stimulating the human eye. The unit of luminous efficiency are lumens per watt LPW by definition the maximum efficiency is 683 uh, luminous per watt for monochromatic green light a white light source with all visible wavelengths present has a lower efficiency around 250 lumens per watt gas field 
early lamps uh, and some small modern lamps used only a vacuum to protect the filament from oxygen. The vacuum increases evaporation of the filament but eliminates two modes of heat loss. The most commonly used fields are vacuum used in small lamps provide best thermal insulation of the filament but doesn't protect against its evaporation used also in larger lamps where the outer bulb surface temperature has to be limited argon 93 percent and nitrogen 7 percent where argon is used for its inertness low thermal conductivity and low cost and the nitrogen is added to increase the breakdown voltage and prevent arcing between parts of the filament nitrogen used in some higher power lamps for example projection lamps and higher higher breakdown voltage is needed due to proximity of filament parts or lead in wires krypton which is more advantageous than argon due to its higher atomic weight and lower thermal conductivity but its use is hindered by much higher cost confining it mostly to smaller size bulbs. Krypton mixed with xenon, where xenon improves the gas properties further due to its higher atomic weight. Its use is, however, limited, but it's very high cost. The improvements by using xenon are modest in comparison to its cost. The last one is hydrogen in special flashing lamps, where rapid filament cooling is required its high thermal conductivity is exploited here here are some pros and cons of incandescent light bulb incandescent light bulb pros so the first um, advantage is the quality of light these bulbs are as close to the gold standard which is the sun as we can get second one is affordability looking to stay under our monthly light bulb budget we, by popping a few incandescent bulb in our socket and let someone else take care of the utility, utility bills the third one is aesthetics even the even the lightning industry itself can deny that the aesthetics of a incandescent light bulb are hard to beat led manufacturers have spent years just trying to figure out how to make an led bulb that uh, resembles a classic incandescent the last one is dimmability incandescents are also the gold standard for uh, dimmability they don't flicker or emit worse light when paired with a dimmer switch like some products using other lighting technologies the led industry is working over time just to take something that can dim like an incandescent cons of incandescent light bulbs or disadvantages first one is short life if we are lighting, lightning maintenance bill is out the roof, incandescent bulbs aren't going to help. We will be replacing them every three, five months, assuming eight to 10 hours of burn time a day. Energy consumption. 90% of the energy used to make incandescent light is actually converted to heat. And if we aren't warning our light socket to double as a space heaters, we are going to have to crank up our AC bill to co compensate for that collective heat emitted from our incandescent light bulbs. Last one is option option limitations. Compared to LEDs, incandescent bulbs are very limited in the color, temperature, uh, lumen output, direct uh, directionally, and other specifications that help to customize lightning today. Applications of incandescent bulb. Uh, first one is uh, table lamp, uh, then
uh, first choice is uh, desk lamp, then uh, table lamp, uh, hallway lighting, uh, closets, uh, accent lighting, uh, then uh, chandeliers. These are uh, applications of uh, incandescent and bulbs. Next slide. Conclusion, the invention of the incandescent light bulb is a huge turning point in our lives and industries. Everywhere there are light bulbs. We can take a look around and instantly see light bulbs. The light bulb changed uncountable things, entertainment, mining, manufacturing, street lamps, industries, war and electricity use. The electric light bulb has been called the most important invention since man-made fire. The light bulb helped to establish social order after sundown ex extended the workday well into the night and allows us to navigate and travel safely in the dark. Thank you.